this is Chelsea Marks and I'm filming for VETT 222 test 6 um, which is a heart room test via direct um, method so direct um, smear. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in here on our OCCI certificate so you can see that for Evergreen Veterinary Hospital and zoom back out a little bit. We're going to go over our supplies here that are required for a direct um, heart room test. So we have our patient sample here for patient Daisy clearly labeled with our date, patient number, and um, client number and her name. So we have our EDTA anticoagulated sample. We have a plastic pipette to dispense one drop onto our microscope slide. And we have some cover glass here. So we're gonna go ahead and dispense one drop here of our sample onto the microscope slide. So we have our sample drawn up here. Okay. And we're gonna place one drop onto the microscope slide, there we go, and then we're going to take our cover glass and put one piece of cover glass over that blood, there we go. So it spreads out nice and even here across that. So we're going to go ahead and pan back out a little bit, and we're going to evaluate it on the microscope. So, so we're just getting focused in here, and now that it's focused in, perfect. So we're on the 10x right now, um, and if you'd like, we can go down to the 40x, which is our high dry, and focus back in again. There we are. So we're going to move in that battlement pattern back and forth, up and down. You can move fairly quickly because the worms are quite large. So what I'm looking for is the microfilaria kind of swimming around in those red blood cells. And I'm not seeing anything yet. Looking for movement. pass here, readjusting the focus as I need to as I go, but with this method you're looking for a wiggling worm, not necessarily with the knots method, you're looking for one that's um, not moving. So last pass and it looks like we are going to be negative. Okay, so I'm finished scanning, and I'm going to go ahead and show you our chart here. So we have our patient record, and today this patient, Daisy, has been um, presented to us because the owner would like to purchase flea control and heartworm prevention. So in our clinic, we are going to go ahead and do a heartworm test first uh, before we dispense any Revolution, Trifexis, or HeartGuard, any of those products. Um, otherwise, healthy dog, good weight, female, spade, six years old, um, mixed pit bull breed, um, so I'm going to go ahead and record in the chart here that we have done our direct smear and that it is negative for microfilaria. Okay, so we have that written in our chart. All right, so um, last thing I want to show you, we're going to pan back out here, is um, what you would see if you did see a microfilaria. Um, there on the slide. So I'm going to show you this little video here on YouTube, which is great. So there's the microfilaria squirming around there in that sample. So you can tell this is a microfilaria because it's thicker and it does not have a blunted end. Um, it comes to a point there at the anterior end. So um, sometimes the microfilaria are um, uh, mistaken for Diplotinema reconditum, which is a different worm transmitted by fleas um, that can also be swimming around having microfilaria in the bloodstream. Uh, but this one is definitely a heartworm here, a really excited heartworm there. Um, so that's what I would see on the microscopic exam if this patient were micro microfilaria positive.